We are very lucky to have an experienced person with us today. He's been in the startup space for many years, which is itself a commendable thing since most of us think startups are new, but he's been around. Uh, we have with us Mr. Anand MS. Uh, let's listen to him. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. So first of all, uh, you know, I, I uh, am uh, glad and I, I must thank you for this opportunity to speak on this platform. Uh, mm -hmm. So to introduce myself a little bit, uh, uh, my name is uh, Anand. I live in a small town um, uh, called uh, Kollam, uh, you know, uh, uh, down in the southern part of uh, Kerala, which is a state in the southern part of India. And uh, I, uh, I am currently working in a startup in uh, Trivandrum, which is the capital of the state. And uh, in all along, uh, I, I have been working, you know, mostly in uh, in a various startups. But in between, I have also worked in, you know, some, uh, you know, slightly larger organizations. Uh, been. Uh, one of my earlier stints and one of my longest stints was in the medical device manufacturing uh, industry. So I was uh, uh, exposed to that. Uh, so manufacturing, uh, consulting a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit of NGO work. And, uh, you know, right now in this uh, startup, so a little bit of, uh, 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 you know, variety in uh, uh, my roles I have had the opportunity to uh, handle. So today, uh, uh, you know, I have prepared a few slides uh, in about uh, uh, a topic I thought I will share with uh, everyone today. And let me share my screen. Uh, so can you confirm if you are able to see it? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Go ahead, please. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, this is the picture of a row of houses in uh, a, 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 a Dutch village, I think it's called Hutan. It's, uh, uh, and we may have seen this uh, kind of pictures. And uh, uh, sometimes when I see pictures like this, I start uh, thinking, you know, how do they manage to make uh, places this beautiful? You know, did one person build these, uh, you know, all these houses or uh, did they build it individually? Maybe these houses are, you know, a couple of decades old. And if I am, in li if I am living in one of those uh, houses, you know, uh, do I get to choose a different color to paint uh, uh, my house? Uh, you know, right now it is all good. How, how do these things uh, uh, happen? And, uh, you know, these kind of uh, questions always uh, uh, fascinate me. You know, how did man, uh, uh, you know, evolve uh, from uh, that uh, lonely cave dweller into you know, small groups and tribes and, you know, villages, uh, cities, uh, countries, multinational corporations, you know, these kind of, you know, groups of uh, uh, people. And, you know, how does society or dem democracy, you know, function? What role should I play in it? You know, these kind of questions uh, 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 come to me. And, you know, how do we uh, balance individual freedom? with uh, you know collective uh, common interests so we hear these terms like communism and socialism capitalism people you know tend to have strong opinions about each of these so uh, you know i found myself asking uh, some of these uh, same uh, uh, you know questions when uh, uh, you know uh, uh, some time ago a young uh, colleague of mine, you know, one day he, you know, we were having some, talking about something. He suddenly asked me, you know, is, is buying health insurance a good idea? He asked me. And, uh, you know, that uh, got me thinking about this. So, you know, what should I tell him? Uh, uh, and, and let us try to delve a little, little deeper into 
uh, that subject. So, you know, this, uh, if we look at this map, you know, each color represent, uh, you know, a different kind of uh, health uh, system or the way in which the health system is organized. Uh, uh, um, so, there are countries where the uh, government pays for all the uh, health care or where uh, insurance uh, pays for it or the, where there is mixed. Uh, uh, and, uh, you know, if we get into the details of it, there are so many different varieties um, um, of health systems and how, you know, countries manage uh, uh, the health of its uh, population. It can get uh, very complex. I myself, is, I know, I know I can't claim to be an expert in this, but, you know, from this uh, picture, you know, one takeaway uh, we could uh, have is, uh, you know, those red colors and, you know, India also uh, features is, uh, uh, are they, you know, those are the countries where more than 50%, you know, majority of the people are uninsured and don't have access to affordable uh, uh, health care. So uh, and that's where India stands. So, uh, like I said, uh, there are so many different kinds of health systems. And, uh, you know, one uh, useful way I have found, uh, uh, um, uh, you know, since I have also worked in, uh, in healthcare and medical device sector for a while, uh, 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 you know, one useful model uh, to start thinking about health systems is to think in terms of this uh, trifecta of uh, patient, payer, and provider. So, uh, you know, patient is obviously the individual who is... Uh, ill and uh, wants uh, treatment uh, provider you know, is usually a doctor or a hospital which provides uh, healthcare services and then the payer is whoever uh, you know pays for it and uh, 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 like um, uh, we were discussing a good way to understand the health system is how does all you know, actually the health economics of it is to look at uh, how do uh, all these uh, stakeholders interact with each other you know, what are their motivations uh, uh, and incentives and how do we align those? So if we think of a, a poor tribal man in, uh, 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 you know, hinterlands of uh, uh, India, you know, maybe in a forest or somewhere, and he falls ill, uh, you know, the patient, payer, provider, it's all himself. He just bears his pain and maybe, uh, uh, you know, stays in his hut. Uh, uh, you know, it, it, it would not be typical for such a person to seek health care or uh, be able to pay for it if he has to. So, uh, uh, you know, that is one uh, 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 kind of way in which it is. Uh, it happens in, uh, in, in fact, in lots of parts of uh, India. Or uh, uh, um, we have. Uh, uh, you know, majority of India we have where the patient and the payer is the same person, where uh, most healthcare is uh, paid for by out-of-pocket expenses. And uh, if you look at the statistics, you will find that, uh, uh, you know, major healthcare um, events, you know, health events uh, which require hospitalization is one of the biggest ways in which... Uh, people get pushed below the poverty line in India. So, uh, you know, clearly this model of out-of-pocket expenditure, uh, you know, can, uh, you know, wreak havoc uh, in uh, individuals and uh, families and their uh, uh, finances. So that is uh, the predominant model in India. And then we also have, if we look at uh, insurance-based uh, uh, models where uh, 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 the payer is the insurance company, or in some, in the case of uh, in, in many countries where the government pays for your healthcare, and uh, in, in, uh, again there uh, the provider may be the government, or it might be private uh, companies and organizations, or in some countries uh, the healthcare organizations by law are mandated to be you know, only uh, in a not-for-profit organization. So, uh, you know, you have these uh, various, uh, 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 you know, ways in which these health systems are uh, uh, structured. And, uh, 
you know what we need to understand is uh, you know how do the, you know economics is the subject of uh, you know study of how to uh, distribute uh, 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 you know finite resources efficiently uh, and uh, uh, you know you know healthcare is a very uh, costly thing it is increasingly uh, you know getting costlier and which model is ideal for us uh, uh, and if we look at it uh, and now i am uh, try, you know slightly getting into territory of opinion and i am going to voice my opinion sure. uh, where i i believe <clears throat> that an insurance led uh, uh, model can be you know very dangerous if we try to depend on it too much because uh, uh you know if we look at uh, uh, you know a lot of indians if we, if we uh, fall uh, ill uh, let's say we have a uh, slight fever or a cold we would usually you know sit at home take some rest maybe drink some warm water or some home remedies and that is how we would manage it but the moment we get uh, ourselves uh, an insurance uh, uh, policy suddenly i feel entitled that uh, you know i have already paid for it so let me uh, 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 seek the best possible care i can get and i want to go to the best hospital if possible i want to get uh, admitted there although you know my condition may not require admission and i would like to you know probably uh, you know get the best possible room there maybe a deluxe suite or whatever my uh, policy allows so um, you know there is no incentive for the patient uh, uh, there to reduce the uh, or control or optimize the cost of healthcare because i have already paid for it is how i uh, look at it similarly the providers the hospitals uh, you know we know uh, that uh, you know how you know once a patient is already you know if the hospital knows that the patient is covered by health insurance policy they may also uh, you know not optimize uh, the the cost you know one can you know like it happens with a lot of organ it could be greed but it could also be you know they trying to protect themselves you know it could be a, a lawsuit or something like that which uh, Uh, they may have to face where the patient would ask you could have done these tests and you didn't uh, so they could be questioned so they to be on the safer side they may uh, you know err on the side of you know more and more tests and more procedures and uh, things like that so the providers also do not have incentive to optimize or control the cost similarly if we look at the payer you know in, in, in our case the what we are discussing the insurance uh, uh, companies uh, you know we might think that they might at least uh, want to uh, control the cost but uh, there we have to remember that you know their interest to control the cost is uh, only limited to this one year next year if the costs are going up they can always increase the premium so uh, you know over the long term that uh, cost can go up and uh, you know this is uh, 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 the uh, you know one of the things uh, uh, you know as an opinion i would like to uh, express and let us uh, try to understand a little deeper by looking at uh, the american healthcare uh, system now here on the right you may not be able to uh, see those figures but from the uh, 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 graph and the way it is trending you may be able to make out you know it shows uh, the us healthcare spending as a percentage of gdp you know from uh, uh, about 5% in 1960 it has been continuously increasing and right now it is at uh, 17 to 18% of gdp that is almost one fifth of the economy of the country is uh, you know healthcare spending so uh, that is where uh, this kind of a model has uh, uh, you know taken the us uh, and if uh, on the left uh, the figures show uh, you know how uh, you know per capita you know what uh, that country spends uh, per person on healthcare it is about 12500 dollars 
uh, uh, and, and uh, it is compared with uh, you know other wealthy nations and you can see that uh, americans spend three uh, two to three times or more uh, compared to uh, similar countries on healthcare so uh, uh, you know clearly uh, they are spending much more but are are they getting the uh, quality of healthcare that uh, this kind of cost entails so if we look at the healthcare outcomes we can see that uh, you know so uh, 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 across parameters like uh, life expectancy at birth or infant mortality or you know heart attack mortality unman uh, the percentage of people who are having unmanaged diabetes you know various parameters you can clearly see that uh, us is not one of the best performing countries you know among the uh, in a way, uh, the wealthy economies themselves. So, uh, uh, you know, this is how, uh, you know, where, you know, that kind of a model has uh, led them. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, even when we say that, uh, you know, so much of uh, uh, um, uh, the US uh, healthcare system uh, is uh, in, in, you know insurance and private uh, spending driven uh, we also uh, need to remember that uh, you know that uh, i have marked uh, two uh, of those bars here in, with arrows the right one is the us and it shows how much uh, the us public spending on healthcare that is uh, more than 7% and uh, in the case of india it is uh, you know, currently just about uh, uh, in about one percent. So uh, uh, you know, we can see that even in uh, you know what we think of as a predominantly uh, 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 you know public uh, you know private spending and uh, you know private uh, sector based uh, uh, you know healthcare system in the uh, that we think of as the in the U.S. You know, the uh, situation in India is that we spend uh, 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 a very small amount, you know, on uh, the public spending on the government spending on healthcare is still very small as a percentage of GDP. And we need to remember that, uh, you know, we are a very, uh, you, know, uh, you know, low GDP country. And uh, of that, uh, only a small share our government is spending. So over the last uh, you know several decades, there has been um, you know attempts to raise that uh, uh, percentage. The uh, planning commission, you know, when it exists, I think the last uh, planning commission also uh, uh, you know in the, that uh, uh, five-year plan had set a, a target to raise that to at least two percent of GDP. But uh, we uh, look at uh, several years later, we haven't made much uh, progress. So, uh, and I, let us not uh, get into uh, you know, my, you know uh, the politics of it. And, you know, there are so many angles to it. Uh, but uh, you know, the fact is that uh, you know the way healthcare, uh, you know, from, uh, as a, you know, constitutionally speaking, I think it falls under the. Uh, uh, what they call the concurrent list, where the center and the state uh, share responsibilities. So the state government, uh, 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 you know, spends much more than the union governments on healthcare in India. Uh, and as you can see in this uh, figure, and also, you know, you know, apart from the funding, a lot of the, uh, uh, the you know, most of the execution of these uh, schemes also. Uh, is uh, taken care of at the state level because there is a lot of you know regional variations and it is a uh, you know on the ground thing that has to be uh, done so you know appropriately you know handle the state government uh, uh, or even the local body uh, levels uh, but the union government also has uh, you know an important role to play even now a lot of it is driven by you know, centrally sponsored schemes that uh, 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 that uh, get announced, and that is how a lot of the funds uh, are spent. And uh, you know, this is to set a context for you know where the actions uh, lies and who uh, should we look up to when we want to uh, solve these uh, uh, issues. Can I so, just come in for a second? 
I'm no. so glad you used the term union government because that's what it really is. People keep calling it the government of India, which is really a colonial term. And we should note that we and we should note that it is a concurrent subject, you know, between the union and state governments. <clears throat> and we shouldn't expect the prime minister this or future to do everything about health. It is a concurrent subject. And the states have the responsibility and not just the union government. So I think you're making a very important point, um, which resonates with me that uh, in India, we have responsibilities for the chief ministers, which are often not recognized. And in the pandemic, it became clear that the union government couldn't control the pandemic because they don't have the staff. Staff are all with the chief ministers. And so, yeah eventually they just gave up rightly and said that this is the responsibility of the chief ministers. Sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to say that this is the first time I've heard anybody use the term union government and I'm yeah. sure. Uh, actually, uh, you know, I also didn't uh, you know, use the term. I just picked this uh, figure up from somewhere. So, yeah. But uh, yes. thank you for uh, that input and you know, yeah. pointing. All right, let's go. Yeah, thank you. So, um, uh, you know, we were uh, arguing for increasing the public spending uh, on healthcare, and so you know, this brings up naturally brings up uh, the question uh, of you know why public? You know, we are we uh, trying to be a communist uh, uh, country, and then you know when uh, it uh, you know these kind of discussions can quickly degrade into ideology and things like that. And, uh, you know, we, it is very hard to then uh, have intelligent conversations. Uh, so there are a few aspects which probably we should look at. One is the cost control aspect of it, which we already uh, discussed a little bit. Uh, there is also the question of, you know, slightly differently, you know, the, the question of affordability. You know, we know that India is a poor country in you know, a vast majority of uh, our uh, people are uh, uh, poor and it is very difficult for them to afford healthcare on their own. Uh, and we have a uh, system where, uh, you know, they uh, have to rely on out-of-pocket expenditure, which, uh, you, know, the, you know, there is nothing in their pockets. So how will they afford uh, healthcare? So, uh, you know, that is where, uh, uh, you know, public spending has to increase. We all... Uh, have to pitch in and ensure that uh, uh, you know all our uh, you know fellow countrymen are uh, uh, covered at least by you know basic uh, healthcare uh, services. Then you know another you know major area uh, you know uh, where um, uh, 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 public spending only can uh, 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 do there are things like uh, uh, you know preventive health. Uh, uh, so, um, uh, if we take the private sector, you know, usually they don't have any incentive uh, to, uh, uh, you know, spend money on preventive health. Uh, a hospital might prefer that, uh, you know, I, go, I, I mean, I am being a little uh, cynical and I have, uh, 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 you know, friends and, uh, you know, colleagues and people I respect, you know, you know within the, uh, uh, you know, people who are in the healthcare, uh, work in the healthcare sector. But, uh, you know, it can happen that they might prefer a person coming to a hospital with a heart attack rather than, uh, you know, uh, for advice on how to lead a healthier life. So, uh, you know, just by the uh, way in which, uh, you know, money works, it is that, uh, you know, private entities usually don't have incentive to spend on preventive health. And individuals are also usually not, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, keen on these kind of things. So it, it takes, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, public spending to spend on those kind of things. Similarly, you know, we saw uh, during the times of COVID, you know, about communicable diseases. And in fact, uh, a, a, a few months before COVID, I personally had a, um, a little bit of a, uh, 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 opportunity to see, uh, you know, when the Nipah virus outbreak uh, happened here in uh, Kerala, and it uh, and uh, uh, 
a few days ago, actually, I myself had traveled uh, to that same village uh, uh, related to a project I was working on at that time. So, uh, I, 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 and I could relate to it, therefore, when that virus broke out, uh, you know, we could see how the full power of the, um, you know, the local, uh, you know, health, uh, healthcare machinery, uh, you know, sprang into action. And they did a wonderful job of, uh, you know, locking that whole place down and, uh, you know, contact tracing and all that. And finally, they were able to contain that uh, outbreak. Uh, uh, so, and, and also, you know, that uh, uh, experience uh, uh, was very valuable when uh, the first COVID outbreak also happened. If we uh, remember, Kerala had almost managed to contain its first uh, wave of uh, uh, COVID outbreak because it had this experience, uh, you know, at that time. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, keeping vigil over emerging new pathogens and uh, 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 identifying ways in which they can be controlled. You know that at that level, uh, um, you know only uh, only a public entity can do that. Uh, similarly, if we look at uh, you know aging, uh, you know now there is public uh, spending, but there is also uh, I should probably add there is also social angle to it. It is not just uh, you know when a person is aging, it is not just the individual who has to take care of all that. Uh, so the society um, uh, and also has to pitch in. Uh, so there's the government, but the families and friends and uh, the community within which uh, we live uh, also have roles to play. So these kind of discussions should happen. And uh, maybe I will also elaborate a little bit more on that blood safety aspect because I have worked in the blood banking ecosystem you know, back in the days when uh, I was in that medical level. So I used to work for a company which makes blood bags, so I have a little bit of exposure there. So, uh, you know, when uh, 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 a patient in India, you know, I may be a rich person, uh, but um, uh, when I get admitted uh, for a medical procedure, maybe a surgery, and I need blood, the system in India is that uh, usually it is up to the patient or uh, his or her relatives to go and find a replacement unit because uh, India does not have a blood system. So uh, in most uh, civilized uh, nations of the world, if I am a patient and I need uh, blood for a procedure, it is my right, it is my right uh, uh, to get uh, blood. And uh, you know, I may have to pay for it, but I don't have to go and find donors and you know, at that time uh, you know, find a replacement, etc. So, you know, this system, you know, how does it, and this affects uh, every person in India, whether you are rich or poor, and this is what uh, we should understand, that, uh, you know, we may think that it is my nephew or my friend or somebody who donated that uh, uh, in a unit of blood, and therefore it is, uh, it might be safe, and they, we know that it is tested, so... Uh, it should be safe. But what we need to know is that, uh, number one, uh, you know, usually it is not uh, that uh, friends or relatives' blood that gets uh, uh, transfused uh, to me. You know, that unit usually goes into the uh, storage and for testing because that processing takes some time. And uh, usually I am administered a unit of blood that was collected uh, a few days ago uh, by some other donor, and that's what I get. And uh, we also need to understand that uh, even the most advanced uh, testing systems have their limitations. So they have, there are, uh, you know, things uh, uh, called, you know, there is a concept of window period during which, uh, you know, even if that person is infected, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, infection may not show up in the test because it is during that window period. And we can have more and more advanced and costlier tests uh, like nucleic acid amplification testing and things like that. But uh, uh, you know, nothing can replace the safety that is offered by a blood system, which uh, is wholly dependent on voluntary blood donations. Because uh, eh, 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 you know. Uh, a voluntary blood donor, donor does not have any incentive to 
you know lie about their uh, health condition if if i find a, uh, a replacement donor which is a friend or a relative or you know like it happens in india uh, horror of horrors you know we um, uh, also have uh, you know a lot of paid donors so uh, all of them have an incentive to lie about a uh, health condition i may have an infection it might be hiv or something i may know that it is there. or even it may be much simpler things like you know did i um, uh, uh, you know have a little bit of a throat something uh, going on and if the doctor asked uh um, you know my friend would say no no because otherwise then he would have to go and find somebody else to donate so uh, you know that incentive to uh, you know lie about my health condition is not there in the case of uh, blood voluntary blood donors and that is the only way in which and it is much cheaper actually you know we don't need a, 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 a blood safety system which relies on Uh, voluntary blood donation can be safer and cheaper than a system that is uh, uh, you know having the nucleic acid amplification test 100% nat testing uh, kind of a system so uh, you know even on the cost wise and safety uh, wise it can compete so uh, these things can only happen uh, in a you know at a collective level there i also want to Uh, point out that uh, it, it need not always be the government so you know across the world there are so many uh, models where you know especially the blood system there are there is a concept called the community blood center you know each community uh, has a blood center you know where which uh, caters to a specific, specified ge- geography and the people within that and it is the duty of that community blood center to find enough donors and Uh, you know uh, raise awareness and uh, mobilize donors to meet the blood requirements of that community so at that community level also uh, you know these things are uh, possible so uh, what i have tried to uh, in overall say is that uh, there are things which can only be done by a public or at a collective level uh, you know in health or uh, are better done uh, you know in a public uh, Uh, setting rather than in a private uh, kind of way so we need to increase our uh, you know investment in these kind of systems is uh, the point i wanted to make and therefore coming back to the question my colleague asked me so is it a good idea to buy health insurance so i wanted to uh, give an answer to him and so you know naturally uh, you know he comes from a Uh, you know an ordinary family and if somebody in his family falls ill he will not be able to afford it so i advised him to get himself a good health insurance uh, policy with uh, some adequate coverage whatever he can afford so at an individual level that is uh, the advice uh, apply and i myself have uh, a health insurance policy but uh, at a, uh, our collective at a national level or at a population level Uh, is it a good idea to uh, rely on that i don't think so and that is uh, uh, the you know one of the point i wanted to to make and i want to extend it a little so uh, you know generally in india we you know, especially among the educated and uh, 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 you know better off uh, uh, people and young people and Uh, uh the urban people we have a tendency to uh you know avoid getting ourselves uh, you know uh, uh, taking an interest in politics and you know we think that it is all corrupt and dirty and it is uh, not something which concerns me so you know politics is different from policies which affect us and there are things which can affect every day like we saw recently Uh, in bangalore when the uh, in a water crisis hit and uh, you know these kind of things can affect everyone and uh, when these uh, things do happen there is very little individuals like uh, you or me can do at that time but at the collective level and if we all start uh, thinking about these things there are lot of solutions which are uh, possible so uh, you know let us uh, uh start uh, taking a little more interest uh, 
in uh, you know public policy and uh, you know what our government and what our communities do let us uh, uh, start with something small and local within our community and you know, how uh, we manage our water how we manage our waste or you know something small and let us try to get involved like uh, you know alexi the tokavel uh, the famous uh, political scientist uh, uh, you know he said uh, uh, in a, in his book uh, democracy in america so uh, that you know decentralization uh, 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 you know not only has you know that administrative value when we get involved in these kind of issues but it also has the dimension that it increases opportunities for citizens to take interest in public affairs and it uh, makes us accustomed to using freedom you know uh, we live in a democracy and what use is freedom if we don't use it so let us use uh, our freedom to make our communities and our country more uh, beautiful uh, in a like uh, that picture i started uh, with so you know that is what i wanted to share with all of you Thank well, thank you so much. This is indeed a very uh, detailed thinking that you have done on the healthcare system. Healthcare is actually a very, very complex issue, as you have pointed out, so many of the complexities in it. But it's very much the need of the future for people to <clears throat> get to know what the healthcare system is, how costs are being driven up, and how costs have to be controlled and what is the right model for India. Uh, Kerala, of course, seems to have a better model than many other states. Uh, more, you know, the mortality figures and all those are much better in Kerala, almost as good as the US. So we actually don't just need an India model. We have to look across the states also to see how we can uh, get the best parts of one state into another, I think. Uh, you know, you pointed out so many different countries, but I think there are differences across states which are worth uh, capturing, certainly. Uh, Kerala indicators are so much better than other states that we need to look at them. Anyway, uh, this is not my place to really put forward my views. I'm just saying that thank you so much for a uh, uh, very detailed effort that you have made to understand the healthcare system and the various models that are present and the model where India is, is of course unique to India, because it's the only large democracy with such a diverse set of states and people and responsibilities. <laughs> so I hope more people begin to think about these issues. And I just want to ask you, do you have any final words you want to say? Uh, so, you know, just, um, you know, I, uh, like I, uh, you know, said already, I wish uh, more young people and, you know, more people who are educated and, you know, are in a position to do so. They uh, think more about our community and, you know, our politics and policies and uh, they take a little more interest in these things and try to get involved in small ways. Uh, that's what. Uh, okay. Like. Thank you so much. Let's end it here today. And thank you so much for being here and for making this effort to present this uh, wonderful presentation. And let's say bye to the viewers. I'll be back with an expert or a young person soon. Bye till then. Thank you, sir. Thank you for this office.